Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1,441. Hey, if you want to download this Excel file, either the start file or finish file so you could follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video, we got to talk about looking at list one and extracting any names in list one that are not over in list two. Now, if we have prospective customers here, we've been trying to contact them so they become customers. Well, at some point, they become customers, and so we have this list. Fannie was a prospective customer, but now Fannie is a customer. Gigi is not over on this list, so she has not become a customer yet. And what we want to do is extract all of the items in list one that are not in list two. Now, I actually have done some epic videos this Magic Fit 1226 has six different examples of how to do all sorts of list comparing and then extracting items. Not only that, but 1229 has a great conditional formatting and sorting trick. But in this video, we want to see how to do it with Power Query. The next video, we want to see how to do it with DAX. Now, if you know relational algebra, the difference or except or minus set operator is when we take list one and we subtract list two. And that will give us what we're after, items in list one that are not in list two. If we did a Venn diagram, the little white part in the middle, that's the intersecting set there. And those are the items in both lists. But we're interested in only the items in the first list that are not in the second list. Now in Power Query, we'll do a left anti-join. And then in DAX, we'll see how to do it with the except function. All right, so we have two lists. Now we have to convert both lists to actual official Excel tables. We click in a single cell, go up to Insert, click Table, or use Control-T. And of course, we want to name those over in Table Tools Design and up here. So this table is called P Customer for Prospective, and this one is just called Customers. Now we need to get both of these tables into Power Query, and then we'll join them. Now I'm using Excel 2016, so I go up to the Data Ribbon tab and Get and Transform. Now depending on what version of Excel 2016, your Get and Transform may be on the left, or it may be on the right. We want to pull this table into Power Query, so we use from table. I'm going to click that button, and there we are. I'm simply going to use close and load, close and load to. And depending on what version of Excel 2016 you have, you'll either see load to dialog box or the import data. In either case, we want to select only create a connection, click OK. Our queries window opens, and there's P customer. Now I click in list two. From table, close and load, close and load to, only create a connection, click OK. Now we have our two tables in Power Query as a connection. So now we come up to Get and Transform over to Get Data, down to Combine Queries, and we want to Merge. Now in our Merge dialog box, we choose our two tables in the correct order, and then we'll do our join kind. Our first table will be P customers. The second table will be customers. And I want to select both columns. I'm telling Power Query to compare these two columns. And now the join kind. Click in because the first table contains the items that we're interested in. We do a left anti. That means it will keep rows that are only in the first and not over in the second. I'm going to select left anti, click OK. Now really, we are using merge in a strange way because we're actually not going to merge. We just wanted to get at those records that are not over in the second table. So I'm going to come to New Column and right click Remove. Now we have what we want. We come over and we want to name this items not in the list two and enter. Now we can load this, close and load, close and load two. We want to deliver it as a table on this existing sheet. Click the collapse button, and I'm going to try and put it right in E20. Click uncollapse, click OK. 
And there we go. Now, because these are both Excel tables, if we come to the bottom, I'm in the very last cell in list two. I'm going to hit tab to add a new row to this table and type GG and G -G. enter. Now, notice the advantage to formulas, even though they are much more complex to create, is they automatically update. But no problem for Power Query. We can come over and right click Refresh. And just like that, our list has updated. So in this video, we saw how to use Power Query to extract items in list one that are not in list two using a left anti-join. When we come back in our next video, 1442, we'll see how to use the DAX function except. All right, we'll see you next video.